Secret number two is adding the video directly onto the slide that you're at. This is going to be good for shorter sound clips um, that you want to introduce an idea with. So I would come up to the insert tab and then go to video and then type in the name of the video that I want. So I'm going to do flight of the bumblebee and then I select that video and then just reposition it and if I'm only using it for audio purposes I can make it pretty small and just put it down here in the corner and then when I get to this slide I'd actually click on it and play it I'll show you now you'll notice that that slide had a, or that video actually had a lot of clapping in it I'll come back to how you might solve that problem in a second the third option is to do a video sound effect. So if you've ever used PowerPoint, there are all sorts of different sound effects that you could add into PowerPoint to add effect. If you did want to have something like that, again, you would go and insert video. And then you might do something like car horn sound. And then find the video clip that you want and add it. Reduce the size of the video to whatever size you want. And then I'll demonstrate this. Probably not a necessary tip, but one that's kind of fun. And then the final thing is to use YouTube's Start At feature so that if you have audio that you want to start at a specific place, you can do that without having to skip around and using the um, selector. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. On this Flight of the Bumblebees video that I have, if I come down to the Share tab, you'll see that the link here has a start at button and I can go in and I can adjust this so if I know that the clapping stops at 10 seconds I can change the setting here so that the music actually starts right at the point when the clapping stops when I click off of this I can now use this link in my presentation so I'm going to go to insert and video and I'm going to do it by URL now so if I click here and I paste that URL so that it also has that 10 second mark the video will start specifically at the place where I've asked it to when I add that in here I can then resize it and this can either be what I have playing at the beginning and conversely I can use that link like I did at the beginning again I could copy this link I can go to the beginning of my video and I can change this URL so that the video will open at exactly the time place that I want. So that's the secret of adding audio to Google Presentations.